You may write me down in history with your bitter, twisted lies. You may trod me in the very dirt, but still, like dust, I'll rise. Does my sassiness upset you? Why are you beset with gloom? Cause I walk like I've got oil wells pumping in my living room. Just like moons and like suns with the certainty of tides. Just like hope springing high, still I rise. Did you want to see me broken? Bowed head and lowered eyes. Shoulders falling down like teardrops, weakened by my soulful cries. Does my haughtiness offend you? Don't you take it awful hard? Cause I laugh like I've got gold mines digging in my own backyard. You may shoot me with your words. You may cut me with your eyes. You may kill me with your hatefulness. But still, like air, I'll rise. Does my sexiness upset you? Does it come as a surprise? That I dance like I've got diamonds at the meaning of my thighs? Out of the huts of history's shame, I rise. Up from a past that's rooted in pain, I rise. I'm a black ocean leaping and wide, welling and swelling, I bear in the tide. Leaving behind nights of terror and fear, I rise into a daybreak that's wondrously clear. I rise, bringing the gifts that my ancestors gave. I am the dream and the hope of the slave. I rise, I rise, I rise. Still I rise by Maya Angelou. You're going to produce in your next show. And the young man that I'm going to introduce to you is a gentleman that should be a sensation. In fact, I know he'll be a sensation, and he should be an inspiration to us all. Introducing at this time, Crip Heard. Take it away, Crip. <laughs> Eddie Crypt Heard only had one arm and one leg, yet he danced with more grace and agility than I'm capable of with all of my limbs. I can start right where I am. I can never, ever say with any truth that I can't. Chavez Estrada, farm worker, labor leader, civil rights activist, who with Dolores Harter co-founded the National Farm Workers Association, which later became United Farm Workers. Supporters say his work led to numerous improvements for union laborers. Later in life, Chavez focused on his education. The walls of his office in King, California were lined with hundreds of books ranging in subject from philosophy, economics, cooperatives, and unions to biographies of Gandhi and the Kennedys. Real Tears is the common denominator amongst iconoclasts or game changers. But also, there is influence. The question should be, what effect does my influence have on the course of history? Do I affect hope or fear, action or oppression, life or death, creative thinking or intellectual laziness? Many iconoclasts have actually been burned at the stake. Game changers are here to challenge us, to inspire us, to shock us, to wake us up, 
Sometimes they scare us and even offend us, but one thing is certain, whether we like them or not, we will never forget them. And in time, the things they said, the things they did, the very ideas they espoused will come back out to play in the garden of our mind. Julie Dash is the first black American woman to have a full-length feature film in theaters here in America. In 1992, she shocked many in the film industry with her first major film, Daughters of the Dust, by using very dark-skinned actors, many unknown, dressing them in white and using close-ups on their faces, a technique that was considered taboo by the Hollywood elite of that era. Nikolai Tesla has inspired scientists from the laboratories to the backyard garages, changing the way we do things today. We're just a biological speculation, sitting here vibrating, and we don't know what we're vibrating about. Let's starts when people say you're too old while you're having an aha moment that says you have a lot more to give use the tools we've given you and you'll be just fine yes a quantum moment will move you to go back and learn from those who have traveled that road sat on that rock walked out on that stage stared up at the sky and asked the question what if I could not cover all of the game changers who have helped to shape my perspective, given me hope, or somehow made my life better. But if I could, I would say, thank you.